Yo, what's up? This is Victor Kamango with another Everything Technology video. I've been a Mac user for almost four years now, and in that time period, I've managed to come across some pretty awesome applications. These are some of my favorite apps that can help you be more productive on your Mac computer. Okay, so the very first application I wanna show you guys has helped me become a little bit more productive on my Mac. It's called Better Snap Tool. You may or may not have heard of this application already, or you've seen it in different forms from different developers. But if you're a Windows user, then you know it's really great multitasking on there with, with the Snap Window feature on there. So by that I mean is you can literally snap your windows on either corner of the display. Well, this enables that same feature onto Mac. So for instance, I have Google Chrome open here. If I snap it to the top left corner, it already snaps in place at a perfect size, which is amazing. And I can do that on the, um, let's do the bottom right corner as well, just as an example. Or I can even have it to the very right of the corner, or I can snap it to the top and it could be in full screen, which is pretty cool as well. So this is very useful for someone like me who has a 32 inch 4K monitor. It's great for multitasking. I can have all four um, sides of the screen being used by different applications. And it's just overall great I'm actually quite surprised that Apple still hasn't integrated this feature to macOS because it could get quite cluttered, especially if you have a bunch of applications open at a time. But I'm glad to see that a developer took notice of that and fixed it. So let's move on to the next application or next productive application, which is called Haze Over. Um, you've probably already noticed this. Depending on the tabs I'm clicking in, you can see it kind of highlights that specific tabs and it kind of dims the rest of the background. So that's what Haze Over allows you to do essentially. This can be useful for multitasking as well. So I can use this side by side with better snap tool. I can literally have all four sides of the screens being used and I can always know which side of the screen I'm using at a time because sometimes it can get a little bit um, confusing if you're multitasking on that level because you can literally be typing on one side of the screen and you're actually typing on the other one because you clicked on the other one. So this kind of avoids that and makes you a little bit more productive, more efficient and a little bit faster. Moving on to the next application we have is Set App. I'm surprised I didn't know about this earlier for some reason. I think I have seen a few YouTubers talk about it, but I just never took the chance to actually take a look at it myself. But Set App is an alternative app store. Well, it's not necessarily an alternative app store, but it's an addition to the app store that can be very useful. So for a lot of developers who create paid applications, this essentially allows you to have access to a bunch of paid applications by just paying a monthly subscription. That's pretty awesome. So for example, some of the apps that I've showed you already in this video, you can access it on set app without having to go pay for it directly on the Apple app store. If you just pay a $10 monthly fee, you could be straight with all the apps that I talked about in this video, or at least most of the apps. So I've actually enjoyed using set apps. Um, let me show you some of the apps that I have downloaded from here. One switch we'll be talking about a little bit later in the video. Haze over, I just showed you guys that. Downy we'll be talking about as well, and Clean My Mac. Actually, the same makers of Clean My Mac are the same ones who created Set App. So you have access to, I'd say, probably well over a hundred, maybe hundreds um, of different applications that all require some form of subscription or they're paid applications. They're all free on here, so you get the full premium versions. Now the next productive app I wanna show you guys is called Hidden Me. This is a must have for any Mac user whose desktop tends to get cluttered all the time or just disorganized. Like I know Apple implemented the whole stack feature which allows you to stack different images or things of the same file format together. It's great and all, but for some reason my desktop still tends to get cluttered. So this fixes that in literally seconds. So all it allows you to do is hide that, like boom, it's gone and it looks so much cleaner. And if you have OCD, this is a blessing right here because um, you know how I could get sometimes. So if you don't have Hidden Me already installed, this is definitely a must have. Trust me, it's going to save you a buttload of time, especially if you're tired of just cleaning up your um, desktop just for it to get disorganized again. This can be great for that. Or if you're a YouTuber and you shoot a lot of YouTube videos and you kind of want to have your desktop clean for your videos, one button press and you're straight. And that's it, let's move on to the next application. All right, so the next productive Mac app I wanna show you guys is called Easy Res. Um, whether you're a video editor or you're looking for a little bit more room to work with on your retina panel, this enables that. So you have 
full control of the resolution of your panel. So with a Retina MacBook Pro, I have a 15 inch specifically, Apple allows you to scale it only up to 2880 by 1800, but with Easy Res, I can go up to 3360 by 2100, which is extremely ridiculous, and it's almost unusable at that point, but if you wanna use it at that, it could be great for that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go to that resolution real quick, and as you can see here, there is so much room you could work with. So if you're a video editor and you're um, looking for a little bit more timeline um, to work with, this will enable that. Um, if you multitask a lot and you wanna have full-on desktop applications on either corner of the screen, this can enable that as well. You're going to really like this if you wanna take full advantage of the Retina display on your Mac computer. And finally, the last application I wanna show you guys is called Downy. So Downy's pretty much straight to the point. If you wanna be able to download YouTube videos to your computer, that's what it allows you to do. And it's super easy. It's much easier than the 4K video downloader that I recommended a couple months back. So let me show you how to use it. I'm gonna pull up Chrome here. Let's get on youtube.com. I'm gonna download my own video so I don't get copyrighted. Literally, when a video's pulled up, all you do is copy the URL, drag it to Downy, and boom, it starts downloading, it's that simple. You can change the different formats and stuff like that, just like any other YouTube video downloader. It's straight to the point, you just saw that, you just drag and drop and it starts downloading. It's been great and reliable so far, so if you're looking for something to download, your 4K YouTube videos or just any YouTube videos, this can be a great tool for that. And honestly, that is it for this video. Um, I hope I was able to help you find one application at least that can make you a little bit more productive on your Mac. If you have any recommendations, let me know down in the comments section because I'm always looking for apps to make me a little bit more productive or just make my life a little bit easier. Um, if you have any questions, feedback, any of that, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be there responding to all of you as soon as this video is over. Thank you for watching. This has been Victor Kamanga. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Bye.